GM believed the 2023 Corvette C8 Z06 official top speed time. It's screamly too fast. Let's go. Howdy folks, you want to see going to Speed 252 show? Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you so much for pushing that play button and thank you for joining me today. Yes, we're going to get into some Corvette news, but before we do that, please hit that thumbs up button so that way this video can get pushed up in the algorithm. Hit that thumbs up button right now. Also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, become part of this awesome community. Hit that subscribe button. My goal is to grow to 30,000 followers by the end of this year, and I would love to have you part of that journey. So grow with us. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have an Instagram account, go over to Instagram, type in C Going to Speed 252. Follow me there. You can also send me messages and get the latest and the greatest of C Going to Speed 252. And if you want to check out my website, well, there it is. I would appreciate your support there as well. First of all, for all of you that know this already, I have a GoFundMe going for the YouTube car haul that got stolen. For everyone that donates to the YouTube car hauler, I want to give you a huge shout out on my channel. For all of you that would like to donate, there will be a link in the comment section below. Also, there will be a link down in the description below if you would like to donate to the YouTube car hauler. So for everyone that donated to the YouTube car hauler, I'm going to shout out your names right now. For the ones I already previously shout out, once again, I want to thank you so very much. And for everyone that's just part of this community, thank you. So I'm going to shout out the first name and the first letter of the last name. So you know it's coming directly from me to you. So first off, I want to give a shout out to Nathaniel L. M. Jr. Thank you so very much for donating to the YouTube car hauler. I met you at plenty of events and I brought that car hauler there. So I greatly appreciate your support on this. Um, also to Anonymous, I know you didn't give me the name. You don't want me to share the name, but I greatly appreciate your donation as well. Jeffrey w i greatly appreciate your donation as well i cannot thank you enough kevin h i am so grateful for your donation as well and also another anonymous i greatly appreciate your donation anyone who donates to this youtube car hauler i'm so thankful for you who already previously donated and will continue to donate my goal is to really get a new youtube car hauler for the channel and honestly, I think what I'm going to do is when I come to future events on that YouTube car hauler, I want you guys to autograph it. I would love to have you guys' names written on it in the year and the date that you sign it. I want to do something special to the audience. So with that being said, let's get another YouTube car hauler. And when I go around to different events, I want to see you guys' autographs on that YouTube car hauler. Also, again, the link will be down in the description below and also in the comment section. I also want to apologize that I was not able to make Corbin and Carla this year. Unfortunately, I had an acting workshop that pop up at the same time as the Corbin and Carla event, and it hurts me to my core that I wasn't able to be there, but my friend might represent it. And I spoke to my acting teacher, and she literally was able to change the workshop dates for next year to the week before. So my goal is to be at Corbin and Carla next year, meeting and greeting all you all, hopefully with the youtube car hauler and getting your autographs on that bad boy as well and i'm so excited because now i get to do both the acting workshop on top of being at corbett and call out with you guys next year i don't want to get too far details in that because i do need to get into the corvette information in regarding to the official top speed time but here is a little secret of what i was doing at my workshop i told you all i will keep you on this journey here is your boy seek on the speed 252 on camera playing the detective as you guys can see the badge right on my hip and i'm actually trying to get this guy to provide information because he's been stealing it's pretty much how that scene went and i'm a detective so i just want to give you guys a piece of that now let's go ahead and get into the actual video now, as some of you may already heard, it is going around that the top speed of the C8 Corvette Z06 in base trim is 195 miles per hour. And for the Z07 package, it's 189 miles per hour. Let me repeat that. The Z06 base trim is 195 miles per hour and the Z07 package is 189 miles per hour. Now that can go either way. Some people says that it's extremely too fast. Some people says that it's kind of slow. 
Obviously, the 195 miles per hour with the base trim, that means not a lot of aero pieces is keeping the drag down on that bad boy. So you're gonna get that 185 miles per hour. Whereas with the Z07 package, you're gonna have the aero pieces, the dampers, that's gonna keep that drag down, which will slow the car down just a little bit more than the base trim. Now, either way, let's be realistic. A lot of us are not gonna even get this car to 195 miles per hour on top of that 189 miles per hour. There might be a few of us, but a lot of us aren't gonna do that. And General Motors know that a lot of their customers aren't going to track the car in the first place. And to get that type of speed, you really need to be able to track where you can just open this bad boy up. But I know these numbers are actually disappointing a lot of people, and some people aren't disappointed at all. So I'll give you some viewpoints from the disappointed people. Some people are saying the Stingray also get up to 195 miles per hour. So they're kind of upset that the Stingray on top of the Z06 can kind of reach almost identical same top speed. A lot of the people who were excited about this car or excited about the top speed because now they know that information. Now they can somewhat brag a little bit and be able to share this information with their friends. At the end of the day, in my personal opinion, I'm okay with the top speed because I'm not going to get to that point anyways. Yes, it would be nice to brag about the car maybe getting to 205 miles per hour, 215 miles per hour, but at the end of the day, I think it would be sweet and pretty amazing for anyone to be able to own this car, in my personal opinion. It seems as though the engineer's main focus when it came to the Z06 was to honestly get a great quarter mile time. I think that was their top priority when it came to this vehicle. I don't think they were really truly trying to aim for a higher top miles per hour because realistically they know a lot of people aren't going to get to 185 or to 189. If you think about it, most people that buy this car will most likely use the quarter mile or do a quarter mile first before you reach to 195 miles per hour. There aren't too many tracks that's going to allow you to get to that top speed. So I see why General Motors decided to go with the best quarter mile time than the extremely high top speed time. Before we get into more details about the Z06, and technically the Z06 would be the next best thing, let's talk about the previous generation model, as in the 2018 Corvette ZR1 that had 755 horsepower, which is a 2019 model. With the low wing aero package at an automotive test track in Germany, the top speed was validated to be 212 miles per hour, averaging the two runs of 214.88 miles per hour and 210.20 miles per hour together. So technically, it sounds as though the ZR1 is a little faster top speed time than the current Z06, which is interesting because the C8 Z06 is a mid-engine platform, whereas the front-engine Corvette is not. And you would think that the ratio would give the mid-engine platform a little bit better edge, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. And honestly, if you go online right now and look at the 2019 ZR1s, those bad boys are selling for a lot of money right now. A crap ton, a lot of money. I mean, it's insanely it's how much the Corvette Z01 C7s are selling for right now. But once again, realistically, I just wanted to show this information with you because I know some of you guys have been asking about the top speed time regarding the base trim and the non-base trim. And then realistically, face value, I doubt I can get the car up to that point, and a lot of other people will. But most likely, we will all enjoy the quarter mile time. But thank you for watching this video. Thank you for giving it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate you so, so very much. So once again, I am so thankful for all of you guys that gave this video a thumbs up. I am so thankful for everyone that hit that subscribe button and helping me grow to 30,000 followers. And I'm looking forward to you joining me on this journey. And if you would like to donate to the car hauler, hit that link down in the description below or in the comment section to the GoFundMe. Donate. I would love to have you um, part of that journey as well. And like I said before, when I go to events, I want you guys to put your names on it and autograph it for me.